Rahaf Alkanen is now in Canada. You'll remember she's the teenager who caught the world's attention by barricading herself inside a hotel at Bangkok's airport. But as refugee agencies are now working to help her settle into her new to home in Ontario, questions are being raised about the fallout that this move could have with Saudi Arabia and what will happen from here. Joining us this morning is Professor of Political Science at the University of Waterloo, Besma Momani. Good to have you with us this morning. My pleasure. In bringing this 18-year-old here to Canada, what message are we sending to Saudi Arabia? And can you explain what you mean when you say there's little the Middle Eastern country can do at this point? Yeah, well, I mean, in terms of messaging, I think it says that we really are finally really walking the walk of being a feminist government and having a feminist foreign policy. Uh, you know, I think this is a way to really claim the moral leadership globally on this issue. It's uh, clearly a sign that we frankly, stand up for human rights, although many people will point out this is just one case of many, many issues. And so we really can't read all that much into it. But the symbolism is clear. It's played very well, I think, for this government and for Canada internationally. So I think kudos to the Trudeau government for doing this. In terms of what it means for our bilateral relationship, you know, I think that things have already hit rock bottom, frankly. I just don't see how much worse it can get. Uh, we've effectively have no uh, diplomatic representation here or there. Uh, certainly, economic trade has con gone down to almost, you know, uh, nil. And so I think that really the, the worst is already behind us. And uh, hopefully, I think this will do more good in, in terms of, you know, opportunities than it is costs to our bilateral relationship. Now she's just 18 years old, but Alkanen has become the face of a much larger issue. While the numbers for December aren't out yet, we do know that the CBSA processed 25,320 asylum claims in the first 11 months of 2018. What message does it send to countries like Saudi Arabia when Canada accepts refugee claimants, even in the face of potential geopolitical consequences? Well, it's a very strong message, but you know, I would say that, frankly, had we re if we hadn't reached the rock bottom, we may not have accepted her. Let's be frank here. I think it's important to point out, you know, it's just because there was just no more costs to be incurred by Canada to do this. Uh, we're certainly not responding to the, you know, again, millions of others who are out there wanting asylum. Uh, certainly, I think this is a, a very positive message globally. But, you know, there will be critics who, says, who say that this also kind of opens a Pandora's box. Uh, many people will try to come here and want to claim asylum. So there may, in fact, be an opening. Uh, but, you know, our, our geography, virtue of our geography, we just don't get that kind of, you know, mass uh, entry into this country and trying to seek asylum. So I think that, you know, those kinds of concerns really are kind of overblown. You know, putting all the headlines aside, you still are looking at an 18-year-old girl who has left her home. She's settling here in Ontario. What happens next for Alkanen? Well, I understand from, from media reports she wants to study, she wants to go to university. Uh, I think that's a great thing. You know, refugees tend to do very well in this country. Uh, many of them start businesses. Many of them, you know, really do succeed. And certainly their offspring tend to be just as productive and as successful as Canadian-born. So, you know, I would say the future is really bright for her. Besma Mamani, thanks for joining us this morning. My pleasure.